Hello, my name is Risha. Thanks for joining me at the YMCA of San Francisco's Classrooms for All. Today we're going to be talking about nature at home. And you see I have some corn here. And if you want to explore nature at home today with me, what you would need is a compostable bag. <gasps> but you can also watch along if you would like to learn. So you might be wondering, what's the connection here? I've got corn, I've got popcorn ready to pop, I've got corn on the cob, and I have a compostable bag. What's the connection? Well, I know a lot of us are missing experiencing nature at home. So this is my way of giving us a scavenger hunt for nature already within your own home. The connection here is that this compostable bag is actually made from corn. <gasps> are you surprised? Now, if you are noticing the bags that you're using at the grocery store. Sometimes they're green like this bag, but they're actually made from plastic. Those will not decompose. They'll break down into smaller and smaller pieces called microplastics. And eventually they make their way into our oceans because of the way that our landfills tend to be next to waterways. Even if they're not close by, those tiny microplastics can travel from rainwater or they can travel through the air if it gets windy enough. So, if you wanna make sure that you're not contributing microplastics to our oceans or to our soils, which end up in the bodies of many animals, including people who eat fish or even go swimming in the ocean, if you wanna make sure that you're not contributing to the microplastic problem, then you can either make sure to bring a compostable bag or a reusable bag. So, I wanted to point this out because one, you can make a change. You can actually have an impact on nature in your everyday decisions at home. You actually have some nature hiding in plain sight in your home if you have compostable bags either uh, used for your groceries or maybe to pick up after your dog. The next time you pick up a bag, I want you to look closely and ask yourself, where did this come from? What is it made of? And I wanted to point out that we have multiple types of corn. Some people think that um, there's just one type. There's actually many, many different types. And this type of corn is actually for popping. This is called glass gem popcorn. And the type of fiber that was used for this type of bag was a completely different type of corn. So the next time you're at the grocery store and you're looking at what to get, I want you to pay close attention because you can have an impact on nature and if you're at home, you can remember that nature is having an impact on you. There's nature in your home right now. Thank you so much for joining me for this segment, learning about nature at home. Um, I also want to take a moment to acknowledge the land that we're on. This is the homeland of the Ramatush Ohlone people. If you're in San Francisco right now, you are also on land that is the homeland of the Ramatush Ohlone, the first nation's people that were on this land. And if you want to learn more about land and about who lived here before you did, one way you can do that is to go to this website. It's called native-land.ca. And if you'd like to learn more about other YMCA programs, you can join us at ymcasf.org slash classrooms for all. We hope to see you there. Thank you so much for joining me today. Did you know that YMCA of San Francisco never closed? When shelter in place happened, we could no longer provide in-person programming. We quickly shifted to provide youth and family programming virtually. As early as April, we started providing on-demand activities in our YMCA of San Francisco YouTube channel. For this video, we're going to be making a geodesic dome. Today, we're going to be making a hovercraft. The science around this activity is really awesome. In addition, we have a regular schedule of activities for our youth and families to join live. We feature read-alouds, yoga, family Zumba, arts and crafts, drawing clubs, and more. So don't miss out on our virtual youth and family offerings. Visit www.ymcasf.org for more info and class schedules.